For some of them, for God, you know, that's some of these other crazy nuts. Amen? But in Jesus, we trust. In Christ, He is the solid rock. And again, and, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against any faith that is built on Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. We got too much of, we got too much other stuff. You know what happens if you take and you contaminate the material that you're going to make your foundation with? Whatever you build upon it ain't going to last, Brother Bill. Amen. <clears throat> if you don't have the foundation right, then all of your building will be in vain. Amen. Amen. You can read over there, and Brother Bill preaches on this every now and again. You can read over there in Matthew the seventh chapter where Jesus talks about two men. They both built houses. Probably both of them pretty close to being the same kind of house. Probably put a lot of work into it. Put a lot of hours into it. Put a lot of money into it. But only one of them had his foundation right. And the Bible says, for the wise man that built his house upon this rock that we're talking about, the floods came and the rains came. If you give me a little leeway tonight, I'll say the gates of hell attacked it. Amen? Amen. And beat against it. The storms and the ragings of the enemy... And when it all was said and done, the house remained because the foundation was right. But the fool who had said in his heart, there is no God, he built his house and the same storms came and the same winds, same winds came. But his house fell and the Bible says great was the fall of it. Why? Because he built his house on something other than the rock. I hope you get that tonight. He built his house on something other than Jesus Christ. Amen? See, he's talking about the Word. I agree. The Bible says the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Amen? Amen. Jesus Christ was the Word. Amen. The rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house. Talking about the fool. And it fell. And great was the fall of it. Why? Because he built upon the sand and not the rock. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church that builds upon Christ. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the faith that is built upon Christ. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the child of God whose faith, whose hope, whose life is built upon the rock. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The gates of hell shall not <clears throat> prevail. Hey, but yeah, but what if, what if things don't turn out like... Well, He never said it would turn out just like you want it. He said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them from them all. Amen. Amen. He said, weeping would endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. And like I told you, even if we wind up giving our lives, you know, we can talk, we talk about all these miraculous deliveries. There were missionaries that were not delivered like that. They gave their life for the bill. There are people right now in these nations over here that are giving their life for Jesus. But like I said, what has the devil done? When He takes your life, if you're born again, you're going to step out of this body and into the presence of a living God. Amen? This life is not all there is. Paul said if in this life only we had hope, <laughs> we would be of all men most miserable. But we got hope because we hope in Christ. We have life because we have our life built upon Christ. Amen? And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. Somebody else have something tonight.